Welcome to Amsterdam. Over there you see the cruise terminal. And up ahead is Amsterdam North. But that's not where we're going to walk today. No, we're starting today at the central station, which is this building. And we're walking to the Dam. And the Dam is the central square of Amsterdam, the most famous square, I guess. Uh -huh. And it's a tourist attraction, so we'll take you there. Um, the cruise terminal is an approximately a 10 minute walk, I guess, yeah, the you, from the central station. If you have a cruise that starts or lands in Amsterdam, you're really at the heart of the center, which is pretty cool. Um, you'll just rock from your boat um, and, and be in a yeah, 10 minute walk in the city center. Yep. If you want to go to the, um, the north of Amsterdam, there are free ferry rides. Uh, we saw them. Uh, in the beginning of the video. The small blue boats, they are free. You can enter and they will uh, hop you over to uh, Amsterdam North. Amsterdam North is a less crowded part of the city, but you find some nice museum there and also the Flying Theater. This is Holland, a we nice tourist attraction. This is really cool. It's, uh, if you know Soaring in the United States, um, it's pretty much the same. Volatarium in uh, Europa Park. Uh, and in this case, you fly over the Netherlands. Yes. And now we enter the A Passage. And it's named after the water at the back of the central station. Het A. Which is called Het A. And as you probably know, Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands. But not uh, the place where the government government resides. Nope. That is The Hague. That's another city. Also a great city to visit. Absolutely great city to visit. Um, but th this makes Amsterdam uh, and the Netherlands unique. We are one of the few countries in the world where the place of the government isn't the capital. Uh, and Amsterdam is the capital because it was the largest city in the time of the VOC. Uh, where, when there was a lot of trade going on. It's still the largest city of the it, Netherlands. It's still the largest city of the Netherlands, but it was rich and uh, growing in the time. There was a lot of trade. In the 1600s. Yep. And as we walk through, we go up these stairs over there. And we'll walk uh, outside and take a look at this building because this building itself is well a lot of buildings in Amsterdam are very beautiful and this is one of them there are some renovations going on this all looks quite modern but the building is quite old. But we will see that in a few moments. We walk up to the central hall and there are the renovations we're not told about. an old building. The central station opened up at 1886. Uh, it was designed by the uh, person who also designed the Rijksmuseum mm -hmm. and also the church in Eindhoven which uh, we covered in another video, the city tour uh, in Eindhoven. Designed by Pierre Kuipers and as, uh, if you see his buildings you will recognize them. But Let's go over here and have a look. It's, a it's quite it's a, a large building. It's a beautiful day. It's also quite crowded in Amsterdam, but it's, well, there, it's mostly crowded in Amsterdam. There are a few quiet days in this city because it's very touristy. And what I love about this building, and you pointed this out to me, I didn't know, it also shows you where the wind is coming from. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's the building. And on the left tower you see where the wind is coming and on the right it's the clock. 
This is Central Station. And we'll walk straight on to the dam. This street is always crowded. Be aware of pickpockets, uh, as on all crowded places. The Netherlands is a safe country, but, well... It's a very safe country, but every place that is busy has people that will take advantage of it. And look at these beautiful buildings. And the canals. Yes, Amsterdam is famous for its canals and, of course, the canal tours. There are several canal tours and several places you can uh, get on board of one of these boats. You can also uh, cross the city by tram, buses and, of course, by bike. There are several places that you can rent a bike as well. But be aware if you've never ridden a bike, um, it's a difficult place to ride, to do first time ride a bike. There are a lot of bike lanes, but you have to be an experienced bike driver to cross this city. Because there are so many bikers that will just drive you off your feet. And also, if you go by foot, be aware, um, bikers um, go a lot faster than you will. And they ring their bell just to give you the sign, go, uh, pause, uh, get out of my way because they, they will cross by from all angles. Stay on the sidewalks and you'll be fine. And if you yep. cross the street, look both ways. We'll cross the dam, uh, the tramway again, and walk up. Now there are a lot of things to do in Amsterdam. Um, if I can give you one tip, it's the Rijksmuseum. Don't skip that, it's my personal favorite. There are a lot of paintings, uh, but also some sculptures and some other things to see there. Um, I personally love the paintings uh, of Rembrandt. And, uh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Van Gogh, all famous Dutch, ma uh, all Dutch masters you can find in the Rijksmuseum. Most tourists go over for the Van Gogh Museum. Yeah, the Van Gogh Museum is, is impressive as well, um, but it's smaller and uh, it's really about Van Gogh, obviously. And the Rijksmuseum has more variants, more artists uh, on, uh, on display and that's why I personally like it better. It's also a big place, uh, there's a lot of things to see, so if you really want to get a good impression, take your time at least half a day to spend there. Another tip to visit, but you have to book ahead, is the Anne Frank House. Yes, uh, mind that there is at least a two wait, two week waiting time before you get get tickets. So if you're planning a trip, book tickets um, in advance. In advance, you can't get them at the door. It's just the too popular. It, it's a small place, so there aren't people need their time and they uh, allow. Uh, yeah, less visitors in than uh, there is demand, mm -hmm. so you have to plan ahead. Behind these buildings is the famous red light district. We won't walk over there, but it's also crowded. And it's where Amsterdam is famous for. Also, yes. And of course the canals, which I personally like better. <laughs> and we're now walking, uh, this street is called Damrak. And when we walked up to the central station, I saw one of these places had a very big line and it was for fries. Um, people don't stand in a big line for fries. You can get them everywhere. Um, just go two blocks ahead and you find another place. And also this fries. street, there are a lot of tourist shops with souvenirs. Uh, there's one. Um, they sell wooden shoes, chocolate. But be aware, a lot of the souvenirs sold there aren't the really uh, uh, typical Dutch stuff. No, it's a souvenir stuff. It's a, it's a souvenir stuff. And nice if you buy something, and uh, nice if you like it, uh, but there are better places to get your souvenirs than these shops. Um, the building across is uh, 
On the left. On the left. I hope. Yeah, we will cross under here. And you see that. Is called Beurs van Bermaken. Is it trading? Uh, yep. Oh, uh, uh, trading a floor. Public trading floor for uh, stock exchange. And there are events held there. And it's designed by Berlage, and that's why it's called the Burst of Berlage. Beautiful building, nice clock tower. There it is. Another cool place to visit in Amsterdam is. Um the palace. Mm -hmm. The palace on the uh, on the dam. Where we'll be walking to today, and it's the uh, well, it's an old palace. It was a city hall that's converted to palace. Well, they tell you the story inside, it, but it I really like this uh, building and the tour they gave as well. Especially the uh, Grand Central Hall uh, of the uh, of the palace is impressive. Uh, really nice to visit. It was city hall converted to a palace by Napoleon in his time, and it's still a royal palace. It's still in use for formal visits, formal events, yes. for formal events. Uh, but you can visit, and it's a nice uh, museum. Yeah, I really like this. And of course, we have the more. Um, known attractions like Madame Tussauds and... Amsterdam Dungeons, Dungeons, Ripley's Believe It or Not. But, yeah, well, when you visit Amsterdam... They're not our personal favorites. If you like it, good for you. Go see it. It's really good if you like it. But when it's your first time in Amsterdam, I would say oh, visit all the other places. Amsterdam is also a nice city too. Just for a walk, because there are a lot of canals. Uh, it's called the Venice of the North. And um, not all Dutch cities have canals like oh. Amsterdam. <laughs> That's a, mis a misconception. Uh, that's a misconception. There are more cities with canals, but not every city in the Netherlands has canals. Um, so, and uh, they are across the complete city center, and you can walk there. It's nice. A uh, lot of small shops, galleries. Lots of bridges. You really a place to wander. And yeah, it's, you get out of the tourist zone and uh, see more of the real city. Yeah, real for us. Dutch people. This is called Amsterdam. That's uh, famous cheese. That is really good cheese. So there are a lot of uh, like souvenir shops with this plastic little cheeses. If you want cheese, uh, this brand is good. Mostly all cheese, so the, the really hard Dutch uh, cheese with a strong taste. Personally, I like it, but well, I'm Dutch. And over there is the Bijenkorf. And it's, yeah, well, it's uh, a shopping center. Like, like the Macy's and, and Harrods in yeah. London. So there's uh, basically uh, a little bit of everything on sale there, <laughs> to, to sell there. It's a little bit upscale. Oh, yes, it's pricey. But nice to visit. And oh, wow, I guess we will walk this passage. Yeah, this is a beautiful passage. You can also wa just walk straight ahead up to the dam, but We'll take this one because it's so beautiful. Yeah, we'll show you the shopping streets, well, the, the quote unquote real shopping street with uh, less tourist shops, but uh, the shops where you can, well, Dutch people buy things. Like the drugstore. Up ahead uh, on your left is the city sign of Amsterdam. It's three crosses under each other. And you see it all everywhere in Amsterdam. And a fun thing to know is uh, the Netherlands has more bikes than people. And that has several reasons. Uh, 
first of all, there are a lot of rental bikes, which, well, are owned by rental shops and used for tourists, so that's a big uh, plus. Um, but uh, people also can have more than one bike, one city bike that's a more old and isn't, it isn't a problem if that one gets damaged. And for example, a racing or a mountain bike that's uh, really treasured and uh, more expensive. But there are also, it's just new, swap bikes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically a kind of a lease yeah, it's construction. A Short lease construction. So you pay uh, an, a monthly fee, fee. monthly fee, and you can you have a bike, and if it's broken, you get another bike, and there uh, can be recognized by the blue tires. Only in the front, the blue front tire, and, and you know it's a swap uh, bike. But it, it is owned by someone, mm -hmm. so you can just take it. Um, there are shared bikes uh, by several companies, but you will recognize them. You can download in the, an app. Yeah, you can uh, get a public transportation bike, an OV fiets. Um, but you can also just rent a bike. And uh, I'm not sure which is the cheaper option, honestly. I'm not sure as well. But um, yeah. the OV fiets can be out. So uh, when it's popular, uh, on popular days, they just don't have them because they're all lent out. And when you rent a bike, you're more, uh, especially, of course, when you make a reservation, you are sure that there is a bike for you on that day. And as you can see, the city center of Amsterdam is really old. Small streets. Small streets, high buildings, because room is expensive, so... Uh, several, uh, all be, uh, several storage floors. And mostly small, be, uh, not that wide buildings, uh, if yep. you... Small and long. And if we walk up over here, at the end of the street you already see the dam. It's also known for its pigeons. Mm -hmm. and there are a lot of pigeons there and they are there because people feed them. <laughs> and on the dam there are several um, main buildings. We have the new church. It's a museum. Until half of April, there is a nice exhibit, exhibit about uh, Queen Juliana. Which is the, uh, not the former queen, but the queen before our yep. former queen. We uh, have a king now. We have a king now. And she was queen up till 1980 in the Netherlands. Uh, but uh, uh, there's also, as we told you, the palace on the dam. Oh, th these places, those self price. We have one earlier on that had an immense line and like here are two people waiting. Also there is a building across the there is uh, on the left is Madame Tussaud. On the right you see the palace on the dam and there's also a national monument for all victims of the Second World War. On the 5th of May the 4th of oh, May. The 4th of May, excuse me. The 4th of May, this place is sealed off and there's uh, a, a ceremony um, with two minutes of silence. For all the victims who fell in the Second World War. And the monument is the white statue over there. So we'll leave you here, I guess. Yep, we walk Amsterdam further on. I would love to know what you think of Amsterdam. Have you ever visited Amsterdam and or would you like to visit? And what do you want to know? Well, maybe we'll show. See you next time.